Okay, so today I want to talk about the various modes that you can set up a figure eight uh, to repel with. Since most people are only familiar with one or two uh, repel mode configurations, I figured I'd put a video together uh, basically to outline how versatile uh, this repel tool uh, really is. So let's pretty much begin. Uh, everybody knows what is known as the standard mode which is basically you put the loop of rope through the big hole, bring it around the stem, and tie off as such. And this is the standard mode of rigging a figure eight to repel. The next mode is uh, often called the sport mode. And the sport mode, you don't even detach the figure eight. You just put the loop through the big hole, bring it through the carabiner and pretty much that's what it should look like. A little side view. This is probably the fastest way to repel as far as least amount of friction and getting down the rope the quickest. Uh, there's another mode uh, that I tend to call the sport mode plus and I, I say I call it a, the plus because it adds uh, some friction to this method. And so you basically have the same setup as this, but you bring the loop of the rope around the carabiner, uh, around the back of the small hole. And this actually gives a lot more friction because now the rope has an, an additional bend here. Plus it's going, uh, as it's going around the, the carabiner here, it actually applies friction also to this side of the figure eight. So this is kind of sport mode plus as far as being able to go down um, with a little added friction as opposed to just the typical sport mode. The next one we're going to talk about uh, is what is often described as belay mode. Uh, I've actually also heard it called aperture mode, where you feed in the rope through the small hole of the figure eight. As such, put it through the snap link, and basically you're using the small hole of the figure eight um, almost like a stitch plate. Uh, it gives you a lot of uh, friction to actually stop a fall. Uh, not very good for repelling, but uh, as far as belaying, it's about as much friction as you could possibly get out of a uh, figure eight descender. So the next mode is the rescue mode. And the rescue mode, they call it that because uh, if you're really carrying like a heavy load or if you're carrying a second person, it's uh, a lot easier to control your descent if you're heavy or if you're carrying more than one person. So basically you, you start off with the standard mode, which is this, but then you'd loop a, a, a second loop around the figure eight. So it's basically standard mode, you know, with, with two loops instead of one. This is what it would look like sideways. And you can repel like this, but it'll take a long, long time to get down because there's so much friction added to the figure eight. So the next one is something that I came up with, and I call it the carabiner uh, brake mode. And this one is something that I use, generally speaking, if I'm going to do a very, very long repel in order not to heat up my figure eight. Uh, and especially, again, if it's a long repel or if you're using stiffer rope, this won't put any twist on the rope, uh, but it will uh, get you down uh, without, you know, too much trouble. So basically, you put a small loop through the big hole. You take a carabiner, put it through that, bring it around, snap it, the, the rope going to your anchor, and this is what it should look like. So basically using a carabiner as like a brake bar, this is what it should look sideways. And again, this, this will get you down. Um, and if it's a really, really long rappel, um, the carabiner will take up a lot of the uh, friction, which means the carabiner will heat up more than the figure eight. In this mode also, I've actually used this with two carabiners instead of one for added friction. But as you're going down, if you realize that you need additional friction what you do is open up your carabiner bring the rope in through the carabiner close it again and then hold the rope up as your with your brake hand so and now as it's going through the carabiner that will give you an additional level of friction uh, to slow you down again the i call it the, the carabiner brake bar mode 
Uh, another method I, I came up with, um, I call the, the cross carabiner mode. Again, uh, most effective on really, really long descents, I would say 150 feet or more. Uh, it's similar to the brake bar, except you put the carabiner through, bring it up again, put the rope to the top, and just leave it like that. This is what that mode looks like. So you got the friction here, you got the friction of it passing through the carabiner, you got the friction of it going through the figure eight again, and then back up here. Again, really long descents, more than 150 feet. This is very good because both the carabiner on top and the figure eight will take some of the uh, friction, which means it'll heat up a lot less than if it's just a figure eight by itself. And again, like before, if you need added friction on the way down, you open up the bottom carabiner, slip the rope through, hold it in an upward position, close it again, and repel down this way, and this will give you added friction as you're going down. Again, this is what it would look like sideways. So let's just undo this. Uh, the next one, I've seen it called canyon mode. Um, and basically, you put the figure eight large loop through your, your carabiner, and it's almost like standard mode, except you're tied into the big hole instead of the little one. You put the, a large loop of rope through the big hole of the figure eight, and then you loop it around the small hole. And basically, this is what it looks like. So it's basically st the standard setup, except the um, figure eight is sideways. Uh, again, plenty of friction. The advantage to this in, in doing things like canyoning or canyoneering, as it's called in the States, is that you don't have to physically remove the figure eight from your carabiner in order to set it up. I came up with a safer version of this, which is to add a second carabiner to the small hole and then to my harness. So it looks like this. And basically I came up with this only to prevent this rope from actually get going around here and coming undone and undoing the entire system. Um, so this, this method is a lot safer. It only adds one more carabiner to the, to the setup, which is easily to, you know, easy to take off once you get down to the bottom in order to undo the rope easy to attach, um, but a little safer because you're giving yourself that benefit of not having to worry about if you're, especially if you're repelling fast, that loop of rope ever coming uh, out from the smaller hole and having the whole system basically be useless. Uh, so again, this is canyon mode. Uh, I call this canyon mode plus only because I'm adding the uh, additional uh, carabiner. Then we have one that I kind of invented on my own. Uh, I call it the SRA mode. SRA stands for Sport Repelling Association. Uh, and this is kind of a, a tricky mode, unless you know what you're doing, but it does work. So you put a big loop, or you put the, a bite of rope through the, the big hole of the um, figure eight. Uh, you put your carabiner, you snap the rope through there, then the, the, the bite of rope, you put it back in. Uh, actually, that didn't come out well. That's actually backwards. Let's try this again. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. So, let's do the bite of rope first. Into the uh, carabiner. This into the carabiner, and this is what the setup should look like. If it's done correctly. I'll give you a sideways view. And again, you're attached here. This is not so good in, with very thin ropes. I, I would say if you're do, using ropes, uh, you know, nine millimeter and above, this is perfect, single or double. This will give you enough friction to go down. Uh, the advantage to this is that, again, you heat up the figure eight um, very little compared to what you would heat it up with if you were using just the figure eight in regular or even sport mode. Um, again, this is something I invented. It works fine. I call it the SRA mode. Last but not least, and the, the, this I've gotten ma many so-called experts on, on trick questions, which is, uh, my, my trick question is always, after I, I figured out how to do this, is can you uh, repel with a figure eight using the munter hitch that you normally would use for a snap link? And the answer is yes, you can, but you have to know what you're doing. So you put a bite of rope through the big hole of the figure eight, you set up just like you would a munter hitch. Then you attach the top of the rope uh, to your anchor point. 
and basically you have a munter hitch on a figure eight. Again, the advantage to this is that it will never get undone as opposed to if you just do a munter hitch with a snap link, there's no gate to open uh, or close on the figure eight. Plus the figure eight will dissipate heat uh, much better than just a regular uh, snap link, especially for, for long repels. So basically this is a munter hitch on a figure eight. Even people that consider themselves experts at repelling haven't figured this one out because I've never had a person actually answer the question with a yes, you can use a munter hitch on a figure eight. And there you have it. So these are like 11 different ways of setting up a figure eight descender uh, in order to repel. Some are quicker, some are slower, some are more efficient, some are less efficient. Uh, but either way, uh, people should know how highly versatile a figure eight descender actually is. Thank you for watching. And hope to see you soon.